Hey guys, Papa Pete back again today with another pickup video. Today's a special one because it's Christmas time. These are my big Christmas pickups. Uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everybody out there watching today. Right, Coco? Right? That's what you want to say, isn't it? You bet. Anyway, I got some fantastic pickups to show you. Uh, I've jumped down another rabbit hole and uh, I can't wait to share with you some of the things that I got because they're a little bit of time in the making. Uh, I'm sort of guilty of uh, really have a lot of influence on my own Christmas presents this year, but there's nothing wrong with that either because Mama C finds it a lot easier, frankly, and I got some fantastic stuff for my collection. Anyway, can't wait to share it with you. See you in a minute. Papa P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. If you haven't grown up by the age of 50, you don't have to. Coco wants to remind you to check out IntellivisionCollector.com for all your television collecting needs. Whether it's accessories, homebrews, or games from the original 125, check out IntellivisionCollector.com. All right, Coco, are you ready to start the big Christmas pickup show? It's not really a whole lot of stuff, but then again, it is all at the same time. But anyway, uh, first of all, hey, new shirts in the T, in the T Public site. Check the link in the description. Uh, this is a picture that Slappy Marsh had made for me about six months ago and I thought it looked good on a t-shirt. i uh, sold a few of those so far so if you're interested in something like that or any of the other t-shirts or in television collector shirts check out my tea public again the description or the web the, the address for the website is in the description of the video below. Uh, and let's start off with a very special Christmas beer right Coco? This is a beer that 64-bit brought me from Halifax Nova Scotia from Garrison Brewing. And uh, this one is Historic Traditional Spruce Beer, 7.3% alcohol, and it's a 650 milliliter bottle. It's going to fill my glass and then some. And I don't even think it's Swiss stuff. Let's try it. No, it isn't. All right. So we're going to pop this baby open and we're going to try it out. Look at the, at the cap. I'll show a picture of the cap after. It's got uh, Halifax, HFX, right on the, right on the front. Love Halifax. Beautiful city. Alright, we'll slide those right over there. Quite a flavor. Spruce beer. Let's pour one, Coco. I might even give you a taste. Nah, probably not. You don't need that stuff, do you? There's still quite a bit left in the bottom of the bottle, let me tell you. But look at the nice dark reddish color in this one. Let's try it out. Whoa, that one is bitter. But it's good all at the same time. 7.3%. I don't see me drinking too many of these in a giving, uh, given night, let me tell you. But for something different, if you want to try a real traditional beer, uh, I love the stuff Garrison puts out as a rule. So Garrison Spruce Beer, historic and traditional. 7.3% alcohol. Try it out. Now, first and foremost, one of the most special things that Mama C got me for Christmas was something very unique. Matter of fact, it, it's completely unique. It's a one-of-a-kind item uh, that we actually ordered a couple months ago. You notice over my shoulder for the last few videos, I've had this Kung Fu painting on here. And different people have emailed me and asked me about that. And this is something that I picked up at Too Many Games back in 17 or 18. And it is done by Adam Shub, otherwise known as Square Painter. And he's a fantastic uh, artist who does all kinds of pixel art paintings like this. Uh, and sells them at conventions all over, as well as online. Uh, he has a Etsy site for his original artwork as it comes up. And uh, I saw this one back in around Halloween, and I made mention of it to Mama C, and she picked it up for me for, uh, for Christmas. So what I got is I got an original square painter. I don't know if it's 10 by 10 or 12 by 12, but it's a painting from ice hockey for the nintendo and i love that game and i really love this painting when i first saw it of course this isn't something that you actually would see on the screen but it's got a representation of the three different sizes of the players along with the zamboni driver on the ice and it's amazing i really love these original works of art from uh, from adam so it's signed around top square painter 21 so 
check out Adam. Uh, again, look for Square Painter on YouTube or on Etsy and check out some of his artwork. He has some videos on there, which I haven't seen any lately, but he's a lot in the back, uh, back catalog where he actually has time-lapse uh, video of him making one of these paintings. And it's really fun to watch. It sort of put a bug in his ear that he should probably put some more of those on there because they're so entertaining. He's been putting a lot of paintings up for sale recently. Just he's right in the, you know, when you're an artist like that, you sort of you have a period where you're really, really productive. And he seems to be putting new paintings up every day for sale. So check him out on Facebook as well. Uh, I'm sure he's on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, all those. But I usually see him on Facebook as well as YouTube. So uh, anyway. So happy to have this original piece of art from Adam Shook from Square Painter. And it's a very, very special Christmas present. Ice hockey. One of my absolute favorite games for the system right there. I love it. And I'm going to put it up here for now where it's nice and safe. Perfect. Great spot for it. So next we're going to get into a system that I actually ordered for myself. But I'm going to call it a Christmas present because I let Mama C know about it and say, because it, it's very difficult for gaming things for her to go out and pick things up for me. Uh, we know what we want when we're at, at our age, and sometimes it's just a matter of sort of doing the legwork yourself, and uh, they'll, uh, they'll get it for you. So this is something that I had never uh, been involved with before, but of course I've seen all kinds of great websites. Uh, of course, Go Game Go, because they talk me into buying everything. Damn you, Go Game Go. And also, uh, Bacon Ice Cream Productions, Retro Rich, and OEB Pete, uh, classy uh, gaming arts or whatever he is now. And uh, I really love watching their channel because they talk a lot about this system. And when the, the Founders Edition was coming out back earlier this summer, I put in for one. And so for Christmas, I got an Evercade Founders Edition. Still sealed. I haven't opened it even up since Christmas. It's the 30th of December today. I haven't opened it up and had the opportunity to play it yet. Lots of traveling, lots of things to do around Christmas. Uh, but man, I can't wait to pick that up because, of course, that comes with uh, it's the black console. It comes with six games, uh, two controllers, uh, artwork, uh, different cards. Really fantastic stuff. I'm really looking forward to playing with that sometime very soon. Um, but you might say... What a weird place to start. I start with the Versus, uh, the Founders Edition. I didn't have anything Evercade before that. Always a sort of anticipating it, thinking that it would be really nice to do, nice to have, but I hadn't uh, hadn't gotten any. So I did notice a while back they announced that the prices are going to be going up on the regular systems. I wanted one, of course. The prices were going to be going up by 20 or 30 pounds on the, uh, on the original systems, but some of the games are actually going to be discontinued in March and June of this year. So I talked Mama C, and she says, well, if you want it for Christmas, go ahead and get it. And I'm so glad I get, did, because now this particular bundle is already sold out. And what I got... I got the Mega Bundle for the Evercade handheld. So here we go. Of course, it comes with the case. It comes with the premium pack right here, which is the uh, Evercade handheld system. And three games. It's got Atari Collection 1, Interplay Collection 1, and Namgo Museum Collection 1. But it also comes with seven other games. And I've actually got eight games here. But uh, we'll slide that one down. Let's talk you about that one in a few moments uh also that the mega bundle great deal basically you pay for the games and you almost get the system for free uh, by the time you pay the the regular price for all of these games the 10 games plus the the case face it that's free the system is free so how do you beat that unfortunately again though january 1st the prices were going up and about three days after i bought this and they shipped it to me it went sold out on the website on Funstock. So anyway, other games that came with it are Mega Cat Studios Collection 1, the Pico Collection 1, and I may uh, mispronounce some of these, Technos, our, uh, Technos Collection 1 by Arc Systems Works. Uh, and I believe that's one of the ones that's going to be uh, discontinued later on this year, I'm quite sure. Uh, also, it came with Data East Collection 1, Atari Collection 2, Namco Museum Collection 2, Interplay Collection 2, and then actually, oh, that, that and one other one, I went and I bought a couple of games that were very good prices on Amazon for myself. I bought uh, cartridge number 11, 
which is Tanglewood and Xenocrisis. And I also picked up the Oliver Twins collection. That one definitely is one of the ones that's going to be discontinued. These are very good prices. And the prices on these particular ones, or sorry, this particular one, is starting to go up with the with the notice of it being discontinued. So that's why I thought it was a time to really, if I'm going to get into this, uh, this was the time to do it. So, you know, uh, it's a very great system to collect. It's a great retro system to play. And... To get the whole set is really achievable. I think I started a month and a half ago and I've got uh, like 18 out of 26 games for it, cartridges for it already. But that's not all. I also went online and I picked up at Evercade Evolution issues one, two, and three. Right there. Got those off Amazon. Uh, what they are is they're uh, a magazine, which is a really amazingly uh, high quality magazine I find uh, that's being produced by the Facebook group Evercade Evolution. I didn't realize at the time I was talking to it with Jeff from Go Game Go and he said these are available right now on uh, on Amazon. Who knows how long they'll actually be available and, and when once they become scarce they'll probably go up in value. I'm not really keen or that's not really a motivational thing for me about the increase in value. It's just the fact that I'd like to have them so I got them now while they're still pretty affordable. Well, guys, that was a pretty special Christmas. I couldn't believe Mama C get me this original artwork from Adam Shubb uh, from Square Painter. Uh, check out Square Painter on Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, wherever you can find them. And you'll love this artwork. If you love the old 8-bit Nintendo games, which is what he focuses on a lot. Plus, there's all kinds of from other gaming systems as well. Uh, man. Get something for yourself because you'll really be glad that you did. Uh, and as for the Evercade system, here we go. Uh, it's just a fantastic thing, a fantastic system. They do great work and they're really supportive of the people who support them. So um, it's just one of these groups and, and uh, one of the systems that I'm most looking forward to being part of and playing. Anyway, guys, thanks for a little bit of time with me today. Don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. And Coco and I will see you in the next video. Take Papa care. Pete, Papa Pete, the old ass gamer. Pete, Papa Pete, the old ass gamer. If you haven't grown up by the age of... Watch Papa Pete, the old guy gamer. Uh,